just came from the store I don't know where I'm gonna put this little um, portion of this video but thanks to Kenna Salazar um, she's a youtuber as well I'm a big fan of hers by the way she did a room tour and she showed this um, mirror that's also jewelry organizer and I loved it I've been looking for a jewelry organizer and I saw her video and I really liked hers and my dad had also been looking for one for me and I had seen a couple of them but they were like around 150 almost $200 um, thanks to her I found one in Target for a hundred bucks and it's actually right there I don't know if you can see that box right there I already started opening it um, I don't know how I'm gonna get it out without breaking it because it is a mirror but I'm really excited I don't really have room in, in my room actually I don't have a lot of space I have a pretty small room and I it's already been taken up for the most part but we're, we'll figure it out so this is the box and I know it looks like it's upside down but right here it says this end up so I guess I just put it in wrong I don't know but we're gonna figure out how to do this I'm going to let you guys see me struggle to take this out. Um. I know I didn't show you guys me setting it up, but actually my older brother helped me with it. Um, you guys just saw me struggle pulling it out of the box. <laughs> but we struggled for a little bit to build it, but it's all put together. I do need to clean it because there's a bunch of fingers all over it, but it's really tall. I don't know if you guys can see. It's on this little mountain and I put it in this little space right here. That's the mirror and it's full length. It's super super long, but it's perfect like walk in see your outfit make sure it's cute It's in check So I really like it I did my eyeliner y'all But yeah, that's the fit for it today. And this is the mirror that I told you guys about. It's a little dirty. I still haven't cleaned it. But I need to organize it. But first, I'm going to change clothes because... I mean, this fit is super cute. But I would be a lot more comfortable in some different clothes. So, we're going to change. There we go. Now we change. I took off my shoes too. But these socks are super cute. Like, y'all see these? Yeah, I'm just wearing this little lounge set from Victoria's Secret Pink that my mom got me for my birthday. But yeah, I really like this color. It's so cute. And I'm still wearing my bun. I'm still wearing my makeup and everything. But yeah, this is the mirror and I really just want to set it up. So I'm going to open it. So there's this little ignore all the mess behind. We open it from here and it even has a light. And I already started putting some jewelry inside it as you guys can see. But that is not all of my jewelry. That is not even half. That's not even a quarter. I have a lot of jewelry, which I didn't think I had. So we're going to do all that. But so here, so here, this is for my earrings, the little stud earrings. And then back here, it's for the rings. Here is for the necklace, as you can see. Then I can put some stuff here. There's little shelves and then there's little itty bitty mini mirrors. I mean, drawers. I don't know why I said mirrors. And then onto the side, I can put a ton of more earrings. And then here, I'm using this for bracelets. And then down here, more necklaces or bracelets. Really just depends. But this is the overview of it. And then it stands on that little stool right here. And yeah. And then it comes with keys as well. And then we close it. So here's where I have quite a bit of my jewelry. And then in this top drawer, I have a ton of other jewelry, so let's do that.
So I just had a brilliant idea <laughs> to first declutter my jewelry. So any earrings, any type of jewelry that I no longer want and I know that I won't use, I'm going to throw it out because there is no point and I'm already seeing that I have a ton of jewelry and I really didn't think I had that much. So I'm going to get rid of some and then start putting it on here. So, so far, this is everything I'm getting rid of. So, these are actually my mom's, so I'm going to return those to her. This is trash. I had a bunch of rings in here, but most of them, like, they're, like, not real. And then I'm just getting rid of this stuff. I have these little notebooks. I never use them. I have a bunch of bags and bracelets and, like, all this jewelry that I'm just getting rid of. This little box that's actually broken, but I've been having it for so long because it had a bunch of jewelry in it. So, I'm throwing all of these out. Let's just ignore the hair, okay? I look kind of rough. But, hopefully before this, you guys saw me organizing my jewelry organizer. Hopefully, I inputted that clip, those clips before this. Unless I might have deleted them, I'm not sure. But, you guys would have known. So, it is 9.52 p.m. I'm going to declutter my closet and I know it's late. I would usually never do this. I wouldn't do it at this time of day. I would probably be getting ready to go to sleep but I feel like I have a lot of energy and why not use that energy into use put that energy into good use. That's the phrase I was looking for. So my closet is right here next to me. I have accumulated a lot of clothes already and for those of you who don't know I share this room with my little sister so we both share the same bed we share the room everything um, except the closet um, because I'm the only one that has clothes in there and if you guys have seen my closet you guys know that my closet is practically filled all the way to the side and this room is supposed to be half and half for everything even including the closet and that's not what I'm doing because I mean I started it off when we moved into this house I did start off with half of the closet but then obviously as the years went by I accumulated more and more clothes so now practically the whole closet is filled so and actually my little sister kept her clothes downstairs in my parents closet because they have a walk-in closet but I need to make some room so that is what I am trying to, that is my goal for today, to be able to get rid of enough clothes so that half of the closet is taken up by me and not the entire thing. So, let's get started. I'm just going to give y'all a quick overview. So, it's all the way filled, as you can see. We're only going to be focusing on this part, on the rack part. So, it is completely filled. I have hangers everywhere. Half of it is about here, so yeah, we have a lot of work to do. So this is the progress we've made. I have shoved everything, like moved everything as far as possible as I can. And now there's all of this space, which is really great. I mean, we're still a little bit past the half point, but it, we're still doing really good. For clothes, here I have all these free hangers. 
Most of them are from that, but there are also some that is from my laundry that I haven't done. So once I do my laundry, I'm gonna have to get rid of more things. But so far, this is what I have like to get rid of. I have dresses, I have shirts, I have jackets, I have jeans. So I think we did pretty good. And then here I have these jeans that I need to try on, but I think I'm gonna try those on tomorrow because I really don't feel like doing that right now. But yeah, this is everything I got rid of. I know it is not as big as the pile for my first um, closet clean out, but I mean, obviously it wasn't gonna be as big because the other one, I hadn't done a closet clean out in the longest time, like a thorough one. So it is actually still pretty good. Okay, so I'm fixing my closet again. That's why I have all these things out here. I took out all the books that were in that little corner right there and I put them in this box here. It's gonna go under my um, bed. And then, so I have this little space here. I kind of moved everything over and I put that thing up there, moved it. So I, I found a drawer in my garage and I'm gonna put it in that little corner where I had all my books in and I'm going to fill it up with some clothes because we're trying to figure out the best organization to make the best of the space that I have because my room is pretty small, my closet is pretty small and I have a lot of things in here and I already disinfected the drawer and I will show you guys in a bit. Also look at all the space that there is now in my garage. This used to be completely filled but anyway, this is the drawer right here. It's small and it has two drawers and it's like this nice light brown color with white drawers and I think it's so cute. And I disinfected it and I left it here for a bit just so it can air dry. Um, yeah, and I cleaned it on the inside. Those are words like on the inside. They're like lettering from the, like, it's serial number or something. So that's not dirt. I cleaned them all the way from the inside and even from the sides. So, yeah, it's completely disinfected. I'm going to take it upstairs and... Also, I forgot to tell you guys, today's a flex day, so that's why I don't have class, and I helped my mom move some of the stuff in the garage, and that is why I am organizing my room, because I don't have class, I do have a lot of work to do, but... So this will go in my little vlog of multiple days, I don't know where you guys are going to see it, but... I look a mess, I know, I'm sorry, but... Let's get to it. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I didn't organize it very well, but this drawer, I'm gonna make it for all of my PJs. So here are my like sleeping bottoms and then all my oversized t-shirts. And then over here, I just put my purse, which is what I wear, which is what I use like on a daily, and then just a bag. And then here in this drawer, I moved the stuff that were that was on the other drawer in here. So these are just like shorts, like jean shorts, a skirt, and a bunch of like shorts for underskirts so that's what's in here and in here i have nothing yet i'm still trying to figure out what i'm going to use it for but that's what we have so far okay so now this is what i have i haven't done much to the bottom except i put this pink bag right there i have three back bags there like backpacks and then up there i just turned this one so that it doesn't stick out so that's how it looked, and I stacked that box up there. So that's how it looks up here, and I took out a couple of hats and stuff from there. And then I took out my jeans. I mean, these are like school bottoms, and then these jeans, I don't think they fit me. I need to try them on. 
but I folded up my jeans that I have and put them here, color coordinated, and then back here I just have some army green bottoms. That's what I have, and I have, I'm have. i wearing a pair of jeans right now, and some are in the wash, so I need to put more in there. And I found my Anne Frank book, and I'm so, so excited, because I had been looking for this for the longest time, and I was even talking to my mom about it, that I was looking for it, and I had no idea where it was at, and it was in that pink satchel bag that I showed you in my closet at the bottom. Uh, when I pulled it out, I used too much strength, and it ended up like opening and the stuff came out of it and this book came out of it so i'm really happy because i want to reread this and i think this would be like the third time that i'm reading this book um i got this in elementary when i was in fourth grade so i really love it she was the one that inspired me to write a lot more into my journals and keep a diary i mean i kept one when i was younger but i think i didn't really like take it too seriously until i read her story and that's where I just like, I went more into my diary and journal keeping and all that. So okay, so I tried these pants on. I've been wanting to try these two on. They don't fit and these were my school pants. They don't fit either. And I have three of those pairs. So I'm getting rid of all of them because they don't fit. Sadly, but oh well. Chapo, where are you going? Hi. <laughs> You're so pretty. Oh, here you go. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> 